major cleanup operation has been underway across the country in the wake of Storm Desmond, which battered much of the Atlantic coast yesterday. Communities from Donegal to Cork and Kerry are counting the cost of the damage, which is expected to run to millions of euro. Conditions have eased, but Medairn is forecasting further wind and rain this week. It may be gone, but Storm Desmond will not be forgotten because of the widespread flooding damage it left in its wake. Parts of County Donegal were badly hit, where residents were forced out of their homes and businesses forced to close. McElhenney's shop in Bally Buffet was badly damaged, as was the Ballar Arts Centre, but the show there did go on. We got a second wave of volunteers who came on at 3 o'clock and they took over the sweeping to keep the water levels down. The show went on and everybody had a great time. In Castle Finn, one of the worst hit areas, people were left reeling from their second flood in as many weeks. But yeah, this is our second experience, but it's an awful lot worse this time. The water level last time was about a foot high. It appears to be from the outside of the building four or, feet, four or five feet high this time. So we don't know what we're facing when we eventually get in. Sligo Town also felt the brunt of the storm and some residents of this retirement home had to be evacuated at 2 a.m. The situation was similar in many other counties where once again local authority staff, Gardaí, the army and volunteers were working hard to deal with the high water levels. Major and minor roads are underwater in many parts, some passable with care, others completely closed and drivers are advised to exercise caution as they travel. There was some respite from the rain today, but more is forecast. We have a yellow wind warning in operation for tomorrow, so another windy day in store. Rain pushing across the country and further spells of rain then as we go through the week. But any of those spells of rainfall will not be as prolonged or quite as heavy as the recent rainfall. The highest recorded level of rainfall from Storm Desmond at 110 millimetres or 11 centimetres fell in Clare Morris, County Mayo. Joe McGrady, RTE News. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by our regional reporter, Theresa Mannion, who's in County Mayo tonight. Yes, Angus, I'm here on the banks of the River Moy in Ballina, and as you can see behind me, the river levels are dangerously high. People have been coming here all evening taking photographs because it's rising so fast. There was a high tide this afternoon, passed without incident, but there is another high tide at around 3 o'clock this morning. So people are on high alert in this town and hoping that the worst won't happen and that the river won't burst its banks. It's a tough, tough time for for the west of Ireland, the northwest, the, the south of the country. We've seen the, the difficulties in places like Bandon, in Kenmare, in Kerry, in Ballinasloe, in Galway, and here in Mayo, in Cross Malina. I visited the town earlier today. It was completely cut off last night from the M59 and without power. Cam after the storm in the west of Ireland this morning. But for towns like Cross Malina in rural County Mayo, the havoc wreaked by Storm Desmond has devastated the local community. It was at our hip height. People did their best yesterday to get all the stuff up. Very, very difficult in a small town three weeks before Christmas. Homes and businesses have been extensively damaged and people are angry that proper flood defences are not in place. It's worse than I could imagine. Absolutely. I'm not joking. It, 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 I just can't believe that... It's, I thought we had a flood, but it was like a hurricane and a bomb hit at the same time. We've had so many floods in the meantime, and yet nobody seems to be listening. Unfortunately, if we were in the east of the country, we'd have something happening now at this stage. The government need to come in place, put in place some sort of flood relief for Quaspaline. The previous big flooding here was back in 1989, and the levels on this occasion were substantially higher. As people mop up and count the cost, the real concern now is that many people have no insurance cover. In Ballinasloe, the situation is the same as the floods of 2009 are revisited. Very frustrating, very, very angry. Uh, people should have learned from 2009, and verbally it hasn't happened. Farmland in East Galway has also been extensively flooded. Simply calling on Minister Coveney and Minister Harris to intervene here and sort this problem out once and for all. Counting the cost in Kerry. Ken Mayer was in cleanup mode from first light today as businesses and homes came to terms with the damage. Things 
conditions were considerably worse at Bandon and West Cork. The town flooded again for the second time in six years. Many traders like Frank O'Leary don't know if their businesses will survive this time. We've just been put from pillar to post really and uh, this is it, 95 years in business and I don't know if we're not going After 2009, Bandon was promised a flood protection scheme. Local people are angry that it hasn't been delivered. Nothing done. Our representatives appear to be able to do nothing or, or don't grasp the seriousness of this for the people of Bandon. Receding water levels here have allowed the cleanup to begin, but that's against the backdrop of no guarantees about when the next flood will hit. And with the forecast for deteriorating weather, that could be as soon as the next few days. Pascal Sheehy, RTE News, Bandon, West Cork. And Teresa, the full cost of the damage is still not known. Angus, that's right. The focus now is on the cost of storm desmond to rural communities in the regions we've seen there. Hard-pressed homeowners and businesses who are now facing into a really tough Christmas financially, not to mention what it's going to take to rebuild their businesses um, next year. It's been a very, very tough time for these people all around, and the, the, the devastation and the upset is actually turning now into intense anger that there are no proper flood defences in place. These big places have been flooded before. These people cannot get insurance for flood damage. They simply cannot get it. So they said, look, we've had previous promises from previous governments, previous ministers, but now we really, really want action. We want ministers Coveney and Harris to come to the communities here on the ground. They want action. They want the issues tackled for once and for all so they don't have repeats of the kind of flooding that is happening as we as we see around the, 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 the west of the country and the south. Teresa, thank you.